We are getting a futuristic glimpse into our solar system's past. After seven years and more than four billion miles, NASA has successfully retrieved its first ever asteroid sample collected in space. The OSIRIS-REx spacecraft released the capsule back to Earth as cheers of excitement and relief came from mission operations there in Houston. Well, the capsule holding samples from the asteroid Bennu is just about the size of your microwave, and it landed safely yesterday morning in the Utah desert. And what's inside? Well, it could change what we know about the origins of our solar system. Joining me now from Johnson Space Center in Houston, planetary scientist for NASA and co-investigator of this mission, Lindsay Keller. Well, Lindsay, this, have, uh, this had to have been Christmas Eve for you uh, as you now wait for the samples to be unveiled under the tree, shall we say. Just talk to us about what it was like to see the capsule come back to Earth after launching back in 2016. No, I, it, it's absolutely fabulous, right? Um, and Christmas is a perfect analogy for this. Uh, we've been waiting a very long time for this. I've, I've been part of this team for 16 years now. Um, and it's like watching a child grow up. Uh, you, you start out with a concept on paper. Uh, you see the spacecraft being built, launched. We do this orbital phase. And now we have samples coming back safely to Earth. and. Now the real fun, for me at least, truly starts, so. All right, let's talk about that fun. What's next? Um, lots of things, right? Um, uh, right now, the plane from Utah is on the ground here in Houston. Uh, the samples are making their way to our curation facility. Um, it'll be cleaned, partly disassembled, and we'll put into our, our brand new Cyrus-Rex uh, clean laboratory. Uh, and we'll start the disassembly process to actually reveal the samples that we brought back. Um, we will take advantage of some of the material that may be spilled out of the, the sampling device. Uh, we have a, a team in place to do what we call quick look that will spend starting probably Wednesday morning uh, taking a look at the samples uh, in the laboratories here at JSC. Uh, and trying to get an a early look at the samples to see what they tell us uh, about did we collect what we thought we were going to collect and are there any surprises. And, and we'll give that information to the rest of the science team early next week uh, as the disassembly process and the curation process of these sort of very precious samples occurs. Well, and as you mentioned, these samples, you know, they're the most extraterrestrial items brought back to Earth since Apollo astronauts came home with those moon rocks more than 50 years ago. So when you talk about hope, you know, what you hope to learn, maybe some surprises, certain things that you definitely wanted to learn, what could these discoveries do for us to change what we actually know about our solar system? Well, I mean, one of the main reasons to go to an asteroid of this type uh, is that the science community th believes that these are among the most primitive objects out in space. They're ancient, they're four and a half billion year old, they're leftovers from the, the birth of the solar system. And we're really trying to get an inventory of the materials that were present that went into building the planets and the rest of the parts of the solar system. Uh, that includes the minerals, the inorganic parts of uh, the original dust that accumulated around what became the sun. Um, there's intense interest about the organic materials, uh, the prebiotic organic materials, the, the, the volatile materials that seeded the early Earth uh, that led to the formation of life on Earth. So lots and lots of interest in the various aspects of these samples. Um, I'm personally uh, leading a team looking at some of the absolute topmost surface samples from Bennu. Uh, part of the sampling device included what we called contact pads that collect the absolute uh, topmost material that was exposed to space and is subject to radiation and impact processes. And we're using that data to, as what we call ground truth. Uh, we know we, we explore the asteroid belt with missions and telescopes and spectrometers that astronomers use. Uh, but now we have actual samples that can tell us what properties of those materials actually correspond to the things measured by uh, the astronomers. So the data from Bennu is going to be very important, not just to understand the formation of Bennu, 
but to understand the formation of thousands of other kinds of asteroids that are present in the asteroid belt and beyond. Well, we are hoping for some surprises within the data. Lindsay Keller, hope we can have you back after uh, you've explored all the uh, findings. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Karen. It's been great. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.